Hello, good avo. I'm Louis. I'm here for the Dynamic English interview. Oh, yeah. Glad you could make it. Yeah. I'm not a bludger. I like to work. I'm sorry. Arvo? Bludger? Mm -hmm. Are you speaking English? Hey, guys. I'm Jesse, and it's my pleasure to welcome you back to Dynamic English. Today, I'm joined by Louis, who comes from the land down under. And we're going to show you some differences between American and Australian English. So, let's get started. Uh, okay, but only if you stop with that terrible accent. Oh. Okay, but before we get back to the video, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell down below so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. What he said. So, avo means afternoon. So, in Australia, you can say good avo. And when I say I'm not a bludger, I mean I'm not a lazy person. I like to work. Oh, well, nice. Welcome. Plus, I would feel like a drongo if a dog did. Um, what? Huh? A drongo is an idiot or a simple person. And to dog it means that you don't come to something. Ah, okay. So you would feel like an idiot if you missed the interview. Got it. Ah, <laughs> So, tell me about your previous jobs. Well, before teaching, I worked at a bottle And before that, I was a garbo. And before that, I worked at a servo. I'm sorry, I don't understand. A bottle is a liquor store. Oh, nice. I used to work in a liquor store too. Nothing better than that employee discount, right? <laughs> nice. And garbo is a garbage collector. Ew, gross. Yeah, it was. And the servo is a service station. Okay, cool. We say gas station in America, but I understand. Oh, and I worked for a bit at a Sanger shop. What's a Sanger? A sandwich. Ah, okay. I used to work in a sandwich shop too. Hey guys, just a quick break. If you're enjoying this video and want to improve your English, contact us to teach you. At Dynamic English, we have flexible schedules for both individual and group courses, all with native English speaking teachers. We have teachers from the United States, Canada, the UK, South Africa, and Australia. So what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I'm Australian, so going to the beach is really, really big. Nice. I love the beach. Yeah, you know, I like to put my bathers on, my sunnies, and, and my thongs as well, and, and soak up the sun. Okay, I assume sunnies are sunglasses, but you wear a thong to the beach? <laughs> and what are bathers? Yeah, sunglasses. But I wear thongs, not a thong. You know, uh, you Americans call them flip-flops, and oh. bathers are swimmers, or a bathing suit. Okay, I understand. Yeah, you know, it's nice to fill an esky with some stubbies and head out with your mates. Huh? Oh yeah, an esky is a cooler, or an ice chest, stubbies are beer, and mates are like your friends, or buddies. Oh, yeah, that does sound like a good time. Yeah, the beach is always nice, you know, as long as it's not chockers, then it can be pretty annoying. Wait, let me guess, chockers means too hot? Mm, no. Too cold? Chockers means full of people. Oh yeah, that would get annoying. People get on my nerves. It, it's definitely frustrating and it can make someone go aggro. Aggro? Yeah, like aggro. You know, like aggressive. Aggro means to be upset or mad. Okay, I understand. Now, because of the pandemic, you will be working from home. So tell me a little bit about your typical day. Well, usually I have brekkie, then I put on my runners and go walkabout. I understand walkabout because Crocodile Dundee was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Is brekkie breakfast? Yeah, definitely. And runners are sneakers, or tennis shoes, as you Americans say. Okay, nice. You do know Crocodile Dundee, right? Yeah, of course. Dude, that scene where he pulls out the knife and says, That's not a knife. That's a knife. This is a knife. So, do I have the job with Dynamic English? Oh, yeah. 
defo, as you say in Australia, which means definitely, right? Yeah. So, before I let you go, I'm just curious, why do Australians call a barbecue a Barbie? Because this is a Barbie. Put another shrimp on the Barbie. Put another shrimp on the Barbie. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not so sure why we say Barbie, but nobody says put another shrimp on the Barbie. That's just something that you Americans have made up, Jesse. Oh. No, no, no Ozzy says that. Well, no shrimp for you, Barbie. Thank you all so much for watching, and Louie, thanks for joining me, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much, and it's great to be here. And if you want to keep watching more content like this, then you can click right here to keep watching. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> do that again. Okay. <laughs> so, do you guys really call a Speedo budgie smugglers? Uh, yeah, you know, because it's like a... <laughs> Smuggling a budgie? <laughs>